Hey guys, Tara here. Welcome to another episode of GTA Online Racing and what is probably one of the greatest races that's ever been made. And for once, I'm saying that without sarcasm. We're here, we're in the Fagios because that's clearly the best vehicle to use. And I've not used these since, what, episode 2 of GTA Online Racing? Or actually, I didn't use it. So Endless Darkness used it. So yeah, it's been what? What episode number is this? 108, I think? So yeah, it's been over 100 episodes since this thing last featured in one of my videos. It's about time we brought it back, you just have to be in this place anyway, so. You've got a mega star though. We're into P5 from down the back where we usually start. No, no, actually into P4. Is this the podium place? It is! Into P3 in the Faggio! Is it the Faggio or is it Faggio? I'm going to call it Faggio. Because, well. Well, I'm going to call it Faggio anyway without actually uh, offending anyone. And that's a tree, that's why you should get through that gallery and just see how nimble this little Faggio is. It's getting through all the action again. We're not, if, if I crash in this thing, it'll be a really big disappointment to myself because this thing, you don't go fast enough to crash into anything. Even with these boost posts, you're going at what? Walking speed, really. You may wait on this side now, actually, now find out you take away. Then we've got a boost, and that's a rock. And that's not even a rock or a boost, it was a jump and a pile of wood. Oh, yeah, because this is where the, uh, the, um, the sawmill bit is. But down into fourth place, we're still in the top five, though. They didn't really lose any, anything from that, although we've got a few. Few of the faggy or something. He's trying to pay for the corner. Can I hear that? That didn't work. Uh, uh, no, you wouldn't lose that one, is that? That yellow one in front of us. No, then let's go for the wheelies. And PVT has left and he was ahead of us in the playlist, so we've just got a free position there in the playlist. I pretty much, I'm sure now that guarantees him. I'm not going back down now into 12. And let's go for all, all, I'm glad there's boost pads up here because we'd never be able to still otherwise. as well. It'd be quicker to get off and walk, honestly, than you go through and let's go around that tree. That, that was a really nice apex, a really nice line as well. Because a tree counts as an apex when you just now, anyway. Okay, now it's just really heavy on the brakes. This thing has got no brakes, and we've missed the corner. We actually could bounce out past the barrier as well. Well, at least I didn't fall off. Okay, we're just like, oh my god, the train's here. Why is the train here? So we've got Faggios, we've got a burning thing, we've got a train that can go through the barrier. And we've, got, we've just got a ring of fire, literally. This race has it all. Faggio Parkour. Actually, I think that's the thing is actually, that might actually be what this thing's called, actually. And through the sawmill bit now, which is just burning as well. Who's was like, at the time of recording this, Notre Dame was on fire as well. And oh, now I <laughs> I just completely just gave up on life and just flopped off the edge. You know, we're still in contention for a, a, a podium as things stand. And let's get over this second log, can we? Just about. No, oh no, we fell off the side. We actually get around that one. Though. Can we get around this one as well? No, that's that's a crash. Can I get around the side there? Come on, the wheelie over it. Come on, come on. No, oh, come on. I'm riding the speed to get over. Oh, so that's gonna have to be a race board. Oh, we've got a thug could get so sneaky there around the outside. Can we get over it this time? Yes. No. God, oh, what? How did I get stuck down there? Oh, hi, the person that's kind of stuck down here with me. That's another race board. This race is going so down here. 18th, 19th place. 20th! This place, this race was going so well for me. I was, I was in P, I was in P2 about two minutes ago, and it's all just gone downhill from there. Run right then over that one, we go over that at least, and then through the ring of fire, and then back now onto the train lines. Hopefully the train's not here this time, just to uh, just, 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 you have to destroy me out of the way. And then over the boost pad now through the little the tube. Now we're back now onto solid land, back now through the other uh, woodland part it looks, although there's a jump in here as well, so not gonna be as simple as it looks, there's a double checkpoint here, and let's try and get ourselves going again. We do a nice time through there on the inside line, we've made up a place as well. Now into the into the top half now, I'm pretty sure. Fifteen well there's there was at least twenty two people in the train. Actually, through that tree. I never even knew that tree was there. Well again, there's a lot of trees in GTA, so you don't really go around and pay attention to them. But that one's having a hole in the middle. I honestly, I'd never even seen that before. Now we, oh no, we missed the bridge, and the coming can get over the other side. If they go over that side, nah. I look out just having the speed to get over the other side. But then I remember, I'm in a Faggio. It's just gonna be quicker to respawn than trying. This thing wouldn't even get up the side of the hill again anyway. So back down in 16th place, just lost that place that we gained. And well, I don't know why that wall goes up and down. That's, that's not even a corner look option if you look at it, even when the wall goes down in that. So. Yeah, could try and tie someone in, but then again, you just lose a load of time doing that anyway. And this race, I'm pretty sure it's only two laps, but I hope it's only two laps anyway. Given that, it's going up now to four and a half minutes. And actually, that's a tree. And and that's the rock face. Well, we can get down there at least. Actually, I reckon this, we're back okay, We're back at the finish now. And we're going to do this like, what's that? Four minutes, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41. Okay, four minutes, 42, near enough. 
If I'm gonna mess up that lap, this is an under four minutes lap. I'm certain of it, so lap two of two. The wind's obviously out the window. Top ten probably is as well. Let's just try and do a sub four minute lap, since I just said I think it's possible. And with the time I lost there, it's easily possible as well, so I think honestly about three and a half minutes might even be that time we can do there. So we've, I'm pretty sure we, we just wasted a minute of time on that lap. And we find out whether the use Holland of the other Fangio got now into the 15th place once again. But I don't know what top half is. It's going to be at least 12th or 13th, maybe even 14th. And we get the checkpoint there, let's go around the outside line here, just try and find all the speed that we can to keep it as well. Well, these things ain't got a lot of speed. So that mental man, that's, that's the telegraph pole. Why is the telegraph pole in the middle of the forest? I don't know, but it doesn't really matter. And then, well, let's go for a conical line this inside, but I think the uh, the bushes and that just slow us down anyway. Yeah, the uh, woodmill being on fire, that's, that's going to be a cause for concern. That... Wood and fire, that's not a good combination, depending on what you're using it for, of course. If you actually want to fire, then wood's a great thing to use, but if you don't want to fire, then wood's not a great thing to have a lot of in the area. Imagine, it looks like, if this, if this area was actually, I know this is actually based off LA or something like that, GTA map. But with this bit, it actually caught fire in real life. It, it wouldn't last for very much longer because it probably would have been burnt to a crisp anyway. The uh, bush fires now, uh, a lot of that would happen. But back up now, they're into 15th place. We've gained back that position that we lost by crashing into a telegraph pole. Even even in the forest, I was still crashing into poles. Some things just never changed either. But around that tree once again, that was still a nice line. And then clean back now to here. Then we're going to go nice and early on the brakes. That's way too early actually on the brakes. But we have made it stick that just about almost fell off the issue. That'd be really embarrassing. I don't even know what that, that thing was that we just drove over. And now they're coming to what's actually a really satisfying coin if you can do it right. If you do that time, the yeah, part of the storm will now through the the, uh, the fire. And there's a band called In Flames. I actually, I like the band In Flames. So we go with this little loggy. Yes, we can. Uh, if that actually been a respawn, that would be really disappointing. And they're going to need to one shot these to make a few places. If we do it now into 14th place, up into 13th. We go with that one. Yes, we can. Yes, we do. Okay, we made it halfway. We just get the boost pad. Oh, the boost pad is basically nothing for us. And then over the logs here, you're going to make it this time, yes we do, up into 12th place. Come on, let's just make it over the logs, yes we do, let's go around this way, just to avoid that thing in the middle. We're going to go into the top 12. So now then, well, I'm saying top position every time we game was though. As the leaders already finished, so, uh, GG to them. I mean, I think everyone else got stuck behind the train, besides them, so they had just had a massive lead and were just, just able to hold it around to the end, so, yeah. Uh, if they didn't win the race, I'd have been fairly surprised about that. And then through the wooden pot now, going now through this tree for the second time. And then going back to the part where we fell off the bridge last time. So let's not fall off the bridge this time. Although we are being challenged behind us now once again. Could be drop down in, into 13th place again. What well, we do, the fish cuts a little bit, but nothing gets cut out really. Although we do drop down now into 13th place. There's not much longer the race left to go. Let's use a few cars there, a few, a few faggies there for as well. Back on the side, I'm now into Peter. Can you glide on a faggio? Well, let's find out. We'll just do a little bit glad. Yes, we do. We get a nice over the clean that time. And we're going to go for the fire He's going to cut now to the inside line. Oh, gee, we're up into the top 10. Did we just get it there? I think I just got top 10. I don't know. That was probably the, I think that might have been the closest finish I think I've ever had. Besides that race, where I was actually two milliseconds in front for the win. Those has to be on there as well, how close it was. And I did just get the top 10 by, uh, was that 8.77 to 889? Was that one tenth, one hundredth of a second? I got tenth place by. And then it didn't even look what my lap time was. But I don't think it was sub 3 minutes 30. It wasn't far off though, so. Yeah, I definitely did waste a lot of time on that first lap. And we still get a nice payout though, for was that nearly 4k for a race like this. This race was definitely an experience. I think that's definitely one way to put it. An experience, yeah. I would definitely do this race again, it's probably been my favourite one of the plays so far, and Evil Weasel, I've not heard of you before. You must be a new one. We're coming straight in though, winning in the third series, the best lap, was, the best lap then was a 3.24, my best lap was a 3.37. They've taken a minute off my lap time, 7.17, I've been right up the front, on the podium I think, or at least top 5. You found a waste of so much time on that first lap. And where are we now? We're not in ninth place, oh I'm down into 10th, but I'm joint on points though with Salah, so... Still in the top 10, but I'm ahead of Kobe, so at least that's something. There's Giuliani now, 
breaks into 300 points now. She's definitely got his playlist one. Since there's only 60 points left on offer. And actually 60 points would still do it. So unless of course she lags out or something of the two remaining rounds. That's a possibility. So Sim, you're going to need to win the next two rounds. And Julian is not going to need to, needs to DNF both of them. To not get to, well, to lose the playlist. As fast lanes in third looks fairly okay, but Stoppler Fred could still do something. And Volker, he's just ahead of Evil now for fifth and sixth. Uh, I could definitely get Sabba back now for ninth place. I'm actually going to eighth. Maybe even, actually, I'm not counting out maybe even the top five yet. If I can have a good two last rounds. But being Kobe, that's at least something. So if you enjoyed this really amazing race, actually. Leave a like on this video, leave a comment down below, subscribe if you're new and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. And follow me on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram, they'll be linked down in the description below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time.